pray that somebody is still living so that they don't miss it because the people in the graves, they're going to come up out of there and they're going to look for themselves like Job said and not for another upon the almighty God. Nobody gets out of that. There's a great day coming, as the uh, song says, and nobody misses it. No, there's that's one appointment that the whole world, past, present, future, will be at. Will be at. Now, <clears throat> and I saw a great white throne. I'm going to read it again in verse 11 because I didn't finish it. Uh, and him that sat on it. From whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. That is God. And there was found no place for them. Uh, talking about the false prophet. Uh, all of these people. And I saw the dead small and great. That takes care of everybody. No matter who you were on earth, no matter if your name was never mentioned on the news, no matter if you was a, 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 a Vietnam vet like our brother here came back and the world kicked you to the side and you passed away, maybe froze to death in the winter or died of starvation or anything of that nature and your name wasn't good enough to the people to even be newsworthy, God has got your name written down. You are going to raise, and brother, uh, if your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life, they're going. these people of the, of the world, they're going to see just how important you really were and how, just how important you really are unto God. Alright, now, and the other, uh, and, and I saw the dead, great, uh, small and great, stand before God, and the books, plural, were open. And uh, now, plural. A lot of people say, well, that's one book. That's 66 books uh, put together by the hand of God and uh, uh, His holy prophets uh, to, com to uh, uh, conform into one book. But when I open this up, there's actually 66 books. We're going to be judged by what? The things that are written in the book, in the Word of God. So therefore, the books were open. God's Word is going to be have the last say. And there's another book that was open. <clears throat> uh, and another book was open. And it tells us uh, clearly which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Judged according to the things that are written in the word of God. The word of God is going to judge them according to what they have done. What kind of life they have lived upon this earth. If they have accepted the Lord or no. Now, verse 13, And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. That, that's where Brother Pete said, uh, people think they're going to spend eternity in heaven or spend eternity in hell when he preached up here that once, but he, but he had news for everybody. Even hell is going to give up the dead and everybody is going to be cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. That's the final place. And guess what? It's not a resting place, church. It's not a resting place at all. Everybody says, oh, rest in peace. How can a person rest in peace if they die without God? There's absolutely, positively, no way uh, under any circumstances it can be done because the worm, being the people, are not going to die. They're, not, they're going to plead for death. Can you imagine for a moment anybody in your life right now that you love with all of your heart a pleading God as they're allowed to look up afar off and see their father and their mother or their sisters and their brother or their wives or their husband or what not a pleading and begging uh, 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 for death but it will not come gnashing of their teeth hell is uh, the lake of fire and brimstone is going to take in all of hell it's going to take in all 
all of the dead. It's going to take in each and every one that has no name written in the Lamb's book of life by the finger of God. And church, I'm here to warn us right now. If we do not take the time to make a phone call or or share on, on uh, their page maybe if we don't have phone, uh, social media, uh, share something with them about their life and the way God is going uh, 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 not to put up with it. You can't be blessed when you die. There'll be no resting in peace. There'll be no rest at all. Church is our job while we are in this walkway of life uh, to tell them and to warn them that's all we can do. But for the most part, you know what we do? And shame on us. We just say, hey, what's going on? Long time no see. And when we loved you, we've missed you. And we chit chat, we talk, we hang out, we do things, but God never comes up. And we are very aware of their lifestyle. Oh. <laughs> Boy, if I don't step on toes, including my own, I'll tell you right now. Most of the time, that's we are guilt. We're all guilty of something. We are. That's why, once again, all have fallen short. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It's our duty to warn them. It's our duty to mention that to them. We can't force anything. Don't be drawn into an argument. Don't try to force anything. God don't force anybody to live the way he would love for us to live. If he did, everybody would be with him in heaven. We wouldn't have no worries in the world. But what kind of God would he be if he forced his way upon anybody? If somebody tries to force their way upon me, eventually the first time uh, I can get out of it, I want to get out of it. The first time I can rise up and go against it and do something against it, I'm going to do it. It just causes you to hate these people. I don't want nothing to do with you people. I don't want, when I say hate these people, I'm talking about you don't want to be around them. I don't mean you hate them literally. And I have to say that because a lot of people, did you hear the preacher? We got to know what we're saying. Hate no one. Hate their deeds. Hate their uh, ways. Hate their lifestyle. But hate no man. Now, uh, and every one of them, and they were judged every man. Did you get that? Every man according to his work. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. But you know what? Death does not come. God calls it the second death. You know why? It's final. It's final. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. There's no rest there's no negotiating. There, You can beg and plead and cry all you want. And believe you me, they will. That's exactly what they'll be doing. Father, please. <laughs> but they, just like the rich man, except they won't have this term. I remember my brothers back upon earth. There won't be none. Won't be none. You can't send any. Where is a place to send somebody back to? Not this time. It's done. It is done. And yet, look at the way the world is doing. And uh, look at the way, I should say, Christ, so-called Christians are doing in this world today. And I, yes, I use the word so-called because if I don't keep the commandments of my Lord and my God, how in the world can I love Him? I, I, I can lie to a lot of people. Are you a Christian? Oh, absolutely. Been a Christian for years. Been going to church, oh my God, since I was a child. Come to find out they die and without God. How horrible, how scary, how terrible, how brutal. And God has no desire whatsoever, none, for that to happen. And he's done absolutely everything to see that it doesn't happen. But see, man will not listen well, if they won't listen to reason. I can't, I, can't, I can't work for this person. They won't listen to reason. Mankind won't listen to reason. Won't listen to the truth. Won't, won't accept the one and only way uh, into eternal life in heaven with Jesus Christ. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life, look at that, was cast 
into the lake of fire. Did you get that? Not how many people who uh, went to church the most, uh, who did, who missed the most uh, church services. Not the, not the, and all of the people who uh, uh, did these, uh, didn't do this or didn't do that or did this and did. We can claim what we want to claim. We can believe, make ourselves believe, believe me, believe you me, we can. If we tell ourselves something long enough, our, our mind will begin to accept it as truth. What do you think is wrong? There ain't no God. People tell themselves that all their life. They're raised to believe that. Hey, now in their mind, in their heart, it, it's just the way it is. But guess what? There's something way deep down inside. I don't care who they are. I don't care what kind of uh, nasty life they might be living. There's something way down somewhere that has showed them beyond doubt because the salvation of God has appeared unto how many people? All oh, man. No getting out of it. You know somehow. You won't admit it. You won't own up to it. You won't confess it. But you know that you know. Somehow you know. And if you don't understand how that you know, and you still know that you know, I'll tell you how you know. The Holy Spirit has caused you to know. And you have just dis, uh, 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 swept it under the rug, so to speak, and kept stepping on it and pushing it aside until you have allowed your heart to become like a cast iron. Your conscience has been sealed, seared. That's a scary thought, church. I'm telling you right now, that is an extremely horrible, the, 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 the best horror film I can watch on TV cannot compare to it. The uh, worst of the worst uh, uh, torture that we can see happen to somebody cannot compare to, act, to literally what is going to take place. And every bit of it, you know, right now it breaks God's heart. Nobody goes to hell uh, with with uh, because God is willing for that to happen. Because it's not God's will that any man should perish. It is God's will that everyone, that we, we created him. Let me ask you a question. For those who cannot understand, I just can't seem to grasp, understand, comprehend, wrap my thoughts around how God, being who He is, would allow this to happen. Let me ask you a question. How many of us here have children that are grown? I've got children that are grown. No matter what decision they make in their life. Now, I could get a gun. I could go over to their house and threaten them and most likely force them into doing the right thing. But it won't do me a bit of good. It won't do me a bit of good. So if God worked, God won't do that to us. They have, my children have to live their life when they become a certain age. Then, but now they are accountable for it. Well, that's my children. I'm not accountable for them. You are until they get to become a specific age, uh, uh, get up to the uh, uh, where they understand and know right from wrong, good for evil, and then they become their own accountability in the eyes of God. When you get to the age of the accountability to where you can know right from wrong, to where you can know good from evil, uh, then God... Uh, he doesn't put my sins upon them. He doesn't punish them because of my sins. I'm going to, uh, 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 I'm going to pay for my own. I can't answer for nobody. But see, in my position, which is, uh, believe it or not, as thrilling as it is to preach the Word of God, as uh, w with the honor that it is, with the uh, privilege that it gives and that it is uh, to do all of this with what God uh, has done and called me to do and even with the honor 
of knowing that the Holy God has sent down his Holy Spirit upon little old me. He has chosen me. He has uh, equipped me, caused me to be able to stand and actually preach his word without knowing uh, 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 anything. What an honor and a privilege it really is. But at the same time, uh, the scariest position I've ever been in in all my natural born life. You know why? Because I will have to give an account for a whole lot of people of what I've told them and taught them and preached unto them. I want these two things right here to be clean when I stand before God. When God says, warn them, I want to warn them. What they do will be on them. But I did what you said, Lord. When the church house was empty, I went in case somebody came. I don't. I did what you called me to do, God. That's all I can do. You know how many, uh, how many people I wonder condemn themselves almost to the point to where they can't take it anymore. And some have condemned their own selves with the help of the devil, <laughs> allowing that to happen. They have done it for so long and so many times that it has ended up conquering them and they have taken their own life. The devil is only one thing. He's a liar. <laughs> Every single time he opens that mouth, he's a liar. He's a liar. Oh, your wife is beautiful. You should have seen what she was out doing the other day. Hey, hey. People get those thoughts. Yes, yeah, she is. She was what? Hey, she, she probably did. Now, yeah, she is beautiful, or he is handsome. He can work either way. She, you know, she, she may just have. He may just have now that I think about it. Why would you think about it? I'll tell you why the old devil, that's why. Because it leads to tearing apart, destruction, tearing down, death, hatred, malice, ripped. Yeah, that's, that's all it leads to, death. He wants to destroy and kill. And then when he's done, he wants to go out and do it again. And that is exactly what he's doing. You know why he's doing it? Because he's allowed. He's allowed. Somebody come into your neighborhood, goes around, the whole neighborhood. I don't care if it's all of Warren. From left to right, front to back, top to bottom, inside and out. Don't leave out any house, any person. Even the ones they find on the street, behind the dumpster, under the uh, 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 tree. Uh, or It doesn't matter. Wherever they... And offering them food. Well, I wonder how many people would say, Well, what are you doing that for? There's got to be something wrong with it. People think this way. But see, it could be from God and how many people would turn it down because of the evil mind. Thoughts that would come. Well, it can't. There's got to be something wrong with it. Nobody just does this. God does. God does. And then people offering something that you know is going to hurt you in the long run, but oh my God, it's so pretty, it looks so good, or this is going to feel so good, or I've been wanting this for so long, oh, thank you so much, you don't know how long. Boy, we're eager for that. Eager for that. We're backwards, for the most part. For the most part. <clears throat> Let me skip over, get ready to wrap it up. I want to skip over to the last chapter in the Holy Bible, which is chapter 22 of Revelation. Verse 1, And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. The Lamb is who? Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side, and on both sides of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God 
and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. You know what? You uh, somebody could put me on a uh, a uh, 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 torture, uh, anything, and an attempt to literally beat the name Jesus out of my forehead, but he couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. He could beat and beat until I'm dead. I died with Jesus. I went home to be with my Lord. I look like I died to you, but I only begun to live. You can't. You can't. They can't take what God has given you. Can't be done. Uh, and there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, Neither light of the sun, and this is why. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Did you hear that? No more thousand years, nothing, forever and ever. When is this going to happen? When the Lord comes back and gathers his people. Then we are going to be caught up into the air to, and, and, and for, uh, forever to be with the Lord. He's not going to call us all up and then, oh, I'm going to set you back down. No, forget it, forget it. And he said unto me, these sayings. Now, these are sayings of the Lord. The Lord said this because uh, John said, and he said unto me, these sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Jesus says, behold, no, understand Period. I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Now, to anyone who falls down to uh, idols, which are pictures of angels, statues of angels, uh, an angel of God sent to show you and I something, we bow down to that angel that has been sent, don't do it. That's not God. He did not create you. He's the whole, one of the holy servants of God. Worship God. Well, just like the angel said, then he saith to me, see thou doest it, thou doest not. For I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren, the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. And this angel said, Worship God. Smart angel. And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Now at the coming of the Lord, however you have been found, that's how you're going to remain. We could not remain that way. If I'm found filthy, I could not be filthy still if I had another thousand years to repent. I've had me another opportunity. Ain't going to happen. Not according to the word of God. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his works shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Not read them, hear about them, think them over. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without or outside of that city are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever hate, uh, loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. 
and let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book, of the prophet of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. All righty. <clears throat> Find us a good song there, sister, sister piano player. Look at that. Trust and obey. What, uh, what is it? 157. Uh, 157, y'all.